My name is Amber Lodiger Reichert, and I'm a web developer with the University of Virginia's Miller Center. The Miller Center focuses on study of the presidency and seeks to apply lessons of history to modern life. Today I'm here to tell you about an exciting grant project that we've undertaken thanks to the IMLS. Connecting Presidential Collections is a website that collaborates with partners to make it easier to search and discover presidential collections online. At its core, CPC is an aggregator. An aggregator gathers information about items in the name of making those items more discoverable. It's important to note that it does not gather the items themselves. The items remain with the collection holders, who we refer to as partners. CPC only works because of partners like you. We work with partner organizations to make collections more discoverable, increasing their visibility and making life easier for researchers and learners. In our case, a partner will send us metadata about their collections, and we make that metadata searchable through presidentialcollections.org. A partner might provide all or some of their collections to be added to CPC. A partner can choose which collections and which pieces of metadata to provide. They then export that from their computer system. This might be library software like Past Perfect or Content DM or a homegrown system, and provide that information to CPC. We can work with a wide variety of formats and, for the most part, are happy to receive data in whatever format is easiest for you to export. Once we receive that metadata, we fold it into the CPC index, thus making it searchable. The Presidential Collections site uses software called Solar to index data and Blacklight to display that data in a usable way. The most important piece of metadata for each record is the URL. The URL is what lets the user click through to the partner's website for more information. It's also an important way that we make sure a visitor knows that the partner is in fact the holder of the collection. Let's try an example. This is the Presidential Collections website. As you can see here on the left, you can browse collections based off of a number of facets, including the collection or the partner or collection holder. You can see how you can browse that way. But what I want to do is search. So I'm going to search for something relatively general like um, Roosevelt letters. Click search. So you can see that at this time there are more than 15,000 results, but the owner of each of these items is clearly shown right from the beginning here in the search results. So if I've done the search and I say, oh, this looks interesting, I'm going to click this first one. We are now looking at an individual item and the metadata that the partner provided about this item. As we mentioned earlier, a partner can provide deep and robust metadata or just basic descriptive information. It's completely up to you. But the most important thing is here. It's the source link. This lets our visitor go straight to the original source and view the full original record on that partner's website. So if I've done a search and I like what I find here on the CPC site, I know where I can go to find out more information about this item. So I've clicked that link. Let's take a look at what the partner has available. So in this case, they make a thumbnail image available, and in fact, I think it's more than a thumbnail. Um, there's more metadata available below, and this might help me with my research. So this is not the CPC website that we're looking at right now, but I got here because of a search on the CPC website that made this item discoverable. So in this way, we are making items more discoverable through the CPC site. People can search across hundreds of collections, but when they find what they're looking for, they can go back to the original source, and that drives traffic and attention to the collection holders and their online presentation of the item. CPC equally serves two very important goals. The first goal is to make it easier for researchers and learners to find presidential materials. Once someone knows an item exists, even if it's not fully available online, they know who holds the item and thus where to go for more information about it. The world of presidential materials is geographically, thematically, and technologically disparate. The CPC hub simply gives visitors a clear place to start. 
Our second goal is to raise the profile of our partner organizations by shedding light on their sometimes hidden collections. We make sure that every record is labeled with the organization's name and every record has a link to the original item on the partner's website so that a visitor can learn more. In a world that's constantly competing for attention online, we hope this can help raise the digital profile of our partner organizations. As time goes on, the CPC website will be able to serve as a central hub for all kinds of presidential research. Someone might visit the site to find the location of presidential papers or letters from a specific time period. Researchers might use the site to uncover the usage of certain keywords over time. Artists might use the site to study physical artifacts like furniture or clothing that are housed in presidential collections across the country. CPC is a firm believer in open data and open source principles. It's built on open source software and all of the code is available for free through GitHub. Here's the thing. CPC doesn't work without partners. We need organizations who house presidential collections to be a part of it. The process is free, we do the legwork, and thoroughly ensure that your organization is acknowledged as the holder of your collections. In short, helping you helps us. <laughs> Visit Presidential Collections to learn more.